Activision Fun. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop him. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. won't guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jiu-jitsu. If he's able to extend these jiu-jitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhook. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Mexico City, Mexico, Assassin. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your place. So the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this fight. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the shot. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Beautiful leg kick throw. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, slips to avoid the right. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. 
moving to his left now. Nice three punch. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Ooh, blocks the shot. Big head kick land. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Three minutes remain in the round. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Able to check that kick as well. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. That's a big strike right there. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Beautiful straight counter. Big kick lands. Nice leg kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Unable to connect it. Real sneaky by the Try to establish that jab. Big ball punch land. And now his opponent in a roll of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. And now he's got a hurt bad. Oh, nice jab. <laughs> Trying to kick the leg out. Big body kick. All oh, left hook to the head is blocked. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, huge connection playing there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get there. done there as he escapes back to his feet. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beat his leg up. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready? You ready? Fight. All right, round two. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. More than one. More than one. Punches and bunches. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do. Big one. Hands high. Hands high. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All 
Right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water, going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to... This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Good head movement there, nice slip. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Checks the leg kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting it. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Punches block. Oh, just misses with the kick. Nice body kick right under the elbow. volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, nice. another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. <laughs> 15 seconds remain in the Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. How about those five minutes? All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not gonna check them, keep throwing the leg kick. Third round underway. Oh, lands 
another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Checks the leg kick. Nice head kick. Nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Keep your hands up. Big head kick. Nice counter right hook there. Real quick leg kick. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Just over three minutes to go. Great punch. Fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Back to his feet. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, is that a huge kick to the body or what? Thirty seconds now to go in the round. So let us 
Let's now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! It's such a fast leg kick. Nice punch there. Whoa! Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Able to check the high kick. Just over three minutes to go. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Be first, be first. Under three minutes remain in round four. Nice leg kick land. Beautiful punch. Head kick. Watch the shot. Flush right hand is true. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Nice kick. Liver kick. Just over two minutes to go. Great punch landed with so much power. Circling towards the left now. Flips the guard, lands the right hand. Well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind-ups, no tell, just a brutal kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Final minute to go here in round four. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big punch land.
Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 23 seconds of round number four. We play the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.